And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, the 90s made a return today, and I'm not talking about the smashing pumpkins. We're looking at very hot conditions out there, to say the least. High heat and humidity throughout the region, and that will linger throughout much of the forecast. And we could see heat indices in the mid to upper 90s, even triple digits each and every day through the middle part of next week. And it's all thanks to a core of high pressure centralized far off to the southeast of us over parts of Kentucky, Tennessee, and West Virginia that's bringing all of the southerly winds, the heat and humidity into the region. And that's why temperatures have warmed up so much. It's also acting as a buffer, keeping any rainfall cloud cover really busting that up before it even gets to us. So we may see more scattered cloud cover throughout the overnight hours, but will remain bone dry throughout the region at least until tomorrow when some pop-up showers and storms begin the move in 90 degrees in Star City right now 91 Denver 88 in Attica. Let's talk about the dew points though. Not only are we seeing the heat, the humidity dew points. That's the point or temperature at which moisture begins to form or begin to form on surfaces at 73 right now. That's your dew point in Dayton 72 Otterbin 76 in Rensselaer. Now this doesn't sound that high, but I assure you it is because when you take those dew points, you add it to the temperature. This is what it starts to feel like. Here's your current heat indices through Throughout the viewing area, we're looking at 94 Monticello, 96 in Burlington, feeling more like 102 or 103 across parts of Kentland and Rensselaer. So scorching hot temperatures off to the northwest, and we'll continue to see conditions much like today throughout at least the next six, maybe even seven days throughout Greater Lafayette. 90 degrees your temperature in Lafayette right now. Wind still from the southwest, eight miles per hour. There's your dew point of 66, a little bit more bearable here in Lafayette, but that heat index still holding steady at 94 degrees in Lafayette. Pay no attention to the rain chances on your precision future cast. We'll be staying dry over the next 24 hours. It's tomorrow that we could see more of the instability, bring the pop up showers and storms back to the viewing area. Scattered cloud cover overnight into to early tomorrow morning, maybe even some low lying patchy fog as well early tomorrow morning. But nonetheless, check out your uh, snapshot forecast here. Not only are we looking at a beautiful image of David Schmidt sending this beautiful picture in, but check out these temperatures 84 degrees by 7 p.m. will fall off to 77 by 10 p.m., 74 degrees by midnight. A nice little drop in temperatures over the next few hours, but still, we're looking at very mild conditions overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. 69 degrees overnight tonight. Scattered cloud cover, mild and muggy as well, with winds from the southwest around 0 to 5 miles per hour. Now, we could see a couple of those isolated clouds move across the viewing area, but once again, we stay dry throughout the overnight hours. It's tomorrow we could see the pop up showers and storms return. Notice the line of showers and storms forming ahead of a weak cold front that will slowly inch its way southward. The high pressure system still off to our southeast. We could see a couple of the pop up showers and storms before maybe even a couple isolated or organized rain showers move southward throughout the viewing area by tomorrow evening. So slim chances of rainfall beginning tomorrow evening, but more importantly, those temperatures stick around. Tomorrow we're looking at highs in the upper 80s, low 90s once again. 90 degrees, your high temperature in Kokomo hitting 89 in Chalmers, 88 in Fowler, and there's West Lafayette right in the middle. 89 degrees tomorrow with heat indices once again getting back up into those mid 90s throughout much of the viewing area. So we see 89, 88 on Thursday and Friday with heat indices in the mid 90s. We get back up to around 88 degrees on Saturday. Scattered cloud cover drying out for Saturday and Sunday. Labor Day not looking so bad. At least we'll stay dry, but temperatures do warm back up to around 91 degrees that afternoon. Now I've been talking about it over the last few days. When will this heat come to an end? Well, forecast models seem to finally begin to make their minds up at least a little bit at this point. Looks like we may see a cold front roll across the region by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, bringing scattered showers and thunderstorms, the potential for severe weather, and eventually cooler temperatures on the back end. We could see afternoon highs only topping out in the mid to low 70s as we get towards the end of next week. Up until that point, though, the heat and humidity will be sticking. That's up. worth another Smashing Pumpkins reference. <laughs> ah, there we go. You got it. All right, thanks.